जब सोई हो तुम जाग जाते हो पहले रब के सामने तुम हाथ धाते हो फिर मखलूक की खिदमत में तुम झुक जाते हो दूध की ये नेमत हम तक पहुंचाते हो तूने जीवन की तस्वीरें रंगों में है ढाली तेरे दम से है आती हर घर में खुशहाली खुशहाली हो एक अनमोल खजाना है हर बीमारी हर तकलीफ से तुमने इन्हें बचाना है याद है रखना तुमने अपनी पैदावार बढ़ाना है आ गई और इल्म के हर पहलू को अपनाना है वो जो सेहतमंद कौम समझो हमने मंजिल पाली खुशहाली हो खुशहाली हमारा और खुद से भी है पैमान तंदुरुस्ती और सेहत बनेगी यूं ही हम सबकी पहचान धरती होगी शान हमारी हम होंगे धरती का मान तेरी अपने खुशहाली की राहों में मारी है जान और तरक्की की ये राह हम सबने है अपना ली खुशहाली हो Assalamualaikum Dr Nasir Javed and Ruby Anam your hosts are back with another episode of Dairy Hub training programs As you already know the Dairy Hub is a development project and its purpose is to make farmers prosperous The dairy industry in Pakistan is growing at a phenomenal rate To be able to rank with progressive countries we not only have to adopt modern methods of dairy farming but also make possible the use of modern dairy farming implements in step with international standards to find out what kinds of dairy equipment is in use in Pakistan nowadays we have invited Mr Harun Lodi to our studios Harun sahab is associated with a well known agricultural services company Assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum assalam Harun sahab we welcome you to our program on dairy hub Harun sahab first of all please tell us what are the latest types of machines used in dairy farming in developed nations and how far is it possible for us to adopt those methods in our country first of all let me inform you all over the world milking is done by machines pakistan is one of the very few countries that employs the old fashioned concept of milking with hands of course if we compare countries herd sizes differ Dairy farms in Pakistan have smaller herds while in other countries herds are much larger due to which they need mechanization as in milking mechanization feeding mechanization and for nutritional purposes you need machinery too because of the larger herd size as for Pakistan there are couple of kinds or sets of dairy farmers one kind is the small farmers also known as subsistence or traditional set they keep animals basically for their own domestic needs and if there is extra milk they would sell it to processors or loose milk sellers they own between 2 to 6 animals the other segment consists of commercial farmers who use their production for business purposes their herds are considerably larger the third time that is evolving its corporate dairy farming industrial groups 
are now setting up dairy farms and they employ all modern techniques because their profitability and success is dependent on modern methodology now to answer your question about what is being used in pakistan well mostly milking machines are gradually taking over then there are the mixer wagons which are used for making total mix ration and then silage making is becoming popular in pakistan the layout and design of dairy farms is being planned properly as you know traditionally we keep our animals tied but modern dairy farming rules recommend that animals should be kept untied so these are a few modern dairy farming practices that are already slowly but surely replacing our traditional unproductive practices Harun sahib what are the various types of milking machines and what are their benefits first i will compare the benefits of modern and traditional methods so that you may understand what replacements are occurring if milking were not done by machines then hand milking is practiced now each animal has certain characteristics peculiar to itself in larger herds often the person milking the animals is not always the same various farm hands are employed for milking each person has an individual style of milking some pull teats forcefully other press with their thumbs this causes a lot of discomfort to animals It also has been observed that teats get bruised and disabled due to these traditional milking practices. Milking machines operate with a specific vacuum. And at milking time often animals come running because they recognize the machine's ability to offer soothing relief at milking time. The milking machine's philosophy is based on the sucking calf's movement, but hand milking is based on each individual's personal touch. be it rough or irregular and this affect the animal's production farmers report that milking machine use increases the production of high milk yield animal because they feel contented the process of milk being let down in animals is due to excitement nature releases a hormone oxytocin in the animal's bodies when they need to be milked or they get an indication that they are about to be milked and when the animal senses that its milk will be released through a milking machine which does not cause it any discomfort that it can be expected that more milk will be let down these were comparisons between hand milking and machine milking and now i will tell you about various types of machines for smaller herds there is a smaller machine which consists of a bucket of 25 liters it is operated by a pump under vacuum then four clusters are attached to the teats and they are milked by vacuum and the milk is collected in the bucket this machine can milk about 10 animals so if a dairy farmer has a 100 animal herd he could set up a 10 bucket system and all his animals can be milked this is the basic system and recommended for farmers who have recently entered this field and their herd is still in the growing stage Milking machines technology changes according to the herd size and now i will tell you about the pipeline milking system in which the bucket is replaced by pipes which carry the milk directly to a cooling system this system is recommended if the herd size exceeds 100 animals and goes up to 200 animals the next step for even larger herds is the parlor milking system this is installed in a barn or farm and animals are brought there in groups and milk simultaneously again depending on herd size and the level of automation that a farmer prefers there are other systems too like the midi line milking system in which the pit is centralized and a pipe is passing through the middle first the animals are milked on one side of the pit then the pipe is moved over and the animals on the other side are milked This system is good for herds ranging from 200 to 500 animals. When herd sizes are larger than this, then there is an appropriate milking system known as the low line milking parlor. As the name indicates, the pipes are passing at from below and milking is done from both sides of the pit. This system can milk a herd size of up to 2000 animals. The procedure involves increasing milking points. For instance, If you have 1000 animals you could install 20 milking points and if you have and if you have a 2000 animal herd you would install 40 milking points there are specific calculations according to which the system is used based on the number of times milking has to be done how many animals are at peak production etc 
The biggest system in use these days is known as a rotary milk parlor in which there is a large wheel on which the animals climb onto the wheel and by the time the wheel completes a revolution it has been milked this system is good for herds over 3000 in number in pakistan we have all the previous systems i mentioned earlier except the rotary milking parlor because we do not have such large herd sizes yet harun sahab what about the cost of the machinery as you know it's very expensive so would it still be feasible for the dairy farmer well when is mechanized dairy farming needed most when there is a problem with that with an increase in the herd size obviously extra labor is needed and is not available to counter labor problems one is compelled to consider mechanization just consider the old agricultural practice of using oxen and yokes now tractors have had to replace them in the same way manual harvesting has been replaced by wheat threshers as progress is made sooner or later labor intensive methods have to be changed also sometimes laborers indulge in blackmailing when they see that they are desperately needed to run the farm mechanized dairy farming has some obvious benefits firstly you no longer face labor problems secondly dairy farmers can regulate their animals management by mechanical readiness animals don't wear watches their clocks are fitted here when it's time to be milked it is registered here and it will be ready for milking if the animals are trained to eat at a certain hour again it is registered here so if the animals are ready to eat at say 7 o'clock according to their clocks but your labor isn't around to feed it the animals will suffer and if the animal be it a cow or buffalo is suffering due to any reason it has a direct impact on its production in the dairy farming industry it is a well known fact that the comfort level of milk animals is extremely important for good production with reference to mechanized milking it is noted that to hand milk animals usually one milker is assigned for 10 animals so if you have a herd of 100 animals you would have at least 8 to 10 milkers now these milkers are absolutely needed twice a day when your animals are ready to be milked which means that twice a day unscrupulous labor has a chance to exploit you and blackmail you as well as cause the animal stress if they are not cooperative as a dairy farmer you look forward to an income if the animals are milked and the produce sold if there are problems with the labor you cannot rely on that income hence it is essential to consider the possibilities of mechanized milking which is the most reliable and cost efficient solution to milk a herd of 100 animals you only need 3 persons as opposed to 10 laborers now to answer your question about its cost according to our calculations we can prove to anyone that mechanized milking versus hand milking is much more effective now let's discuss other machines actually let's start with a concept that is of silage making what happens is that when fodder production is at its peak there is a process by which we can preserve it just like once pickle is made it is used all the year round this can be likened to putting up a linter for your house when the harvesting is done a force will come and make your silage preserve it and leave the advantage gained is for over a year's time in common circumstances first you need labor to work on a daily basis harvest the fodder crop then chop it up and feed the animals also bear in mind that your animals mind clock is fixed and delays or postponements will affect its production so if it's rainy weather and your workers cannot go out to cut the fodder or if there is a family wedding which they are attending they will not come to work at the farm therefore in modern dairy farming your dependence on laborers has to be reduced and this procedure of cutting dependence on labor affects each aspects of modern dairy farming and this procedure of cutting dependence on labor affects each aspect of modern dairy farming the layout of the farm should be such that even if you are all alone you can manage its cleaning for instance a tractor with a cleaning system fixed in front of it like a front blade can do a good job you don't depend on labor if 10 laborers decide not to work and your animals are ready for milking but there is no one to milk them 
what happens is that they get other infection and other problems so number 1 dependence on labor must be curtailed of course when any modern technology is introduced there is a cost attached to it and as your herd size increases it is easily possible to cover its cost through increased profitability come viewers now let's see what saima ji is advising chaudhry abdul hamid and fazlu i would say chaudhry you should get a milking machine chaudhry saab understand one thing it's a one time cost only oh mia sajid when i have so many employees for milking the animals why should i bother with milking machines oh chaudhry you pay your employees monthly wages then they often show a bad attitude and are absent a lot as well and you're also worried about milk theft saima ji that was before now i have saima ji nowadays chaudhry sahib's animals have such low production that people feel ashamed to steal it saima ji even me or you be quiet chaudhry sahib this problem of low production of your animal will also come to an end really and how would that happen listen chaudhry by changing the milking hands time and again and they're being unhygienic as well as use of unclean utensils makes animals fall ill and this results in low production eventually but when you use machines for milking you won't have any <laughs> such fears meaning the fear of animal falling ill will stop but the new fear of machine falling ill will start malfunctioning changing parts this and that no 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 thank you i am okay with things as they are here take my cup okay i beg leave now come on fazlu get going get going go get jira this morning gullu didn't came either and now i am still waiting for jira chaudhry sahab jira won't come either he's gone to the next village what's happening at the next village a fun fair which he is enjoying no chaudhry sahab the fun fair is next friday again next friday yes chaudhry sahab okay then i'm going now chaudhry sahab where are you going jira and gullu haven't turned up who will milk the animal go work Oh no, Jodi Sahab, I just have to go. And where do you think you are going? All dressed up with wash shiny bald head. Jodi Sahab, what do you know? Don't stop me. I just have to go today. I'm going to meet someone, Jodi Sahab. I am going to meet someone. Have you seen your face? Meeting someone, indeed. Just go and work immediately. No, no, Jodi Sahab, no. You can't force me to stay. I'll go and I'll definitely leave now. Okay friend, don't get annoyed. I will be grateful to you. Please just go and milk the animals. Oh no, Chaudhary sahab, I milked the animals this morning. It's your work now. And Jira's and Gullu's. Now that they haven't come to work, there won't be any milking. By the way, Saima ji yesterday advised you to get a milking machine. But you're so stubborn. So stubborn that you didn't pay heed. Now deal with it. Deal with it. Here I go. Here I go. Shake hands. Goodbye. Get lost. Actually, come to think of it, Saima ji was right. If I have a milking machine today, I won't be begging these people. The animals would have been milked and I wouldn't be depending on them either. Today I will have to get a milking machine. You haven't left? Well, Chaudhary sir, I thought the milking machine would be heavy and you need help to get it picked up and loaded and brought to the farm. So I didn't go. <laughs> I do like some of your entices. Let's go get the machine. Yes, Chaudhary sir. These are modern times and we need modern milking machines. Oh yes, I have come to the conclusion that I really can't do without it. Viewers As you have seen after all Chaudhary Abdul Hamid had to take Saima ji's advice If you want to make your dairy farming profitable you have to use modern machinery This will not only make our animals healthier but also reduce our expenses 
considerably. We hope you will also apply these principles and ensure maximum profitability for your farms. Harun Sahib, thank you for appearing on our show, which has now come to an end. Dr. Nasir and Ruby Anam will soon be back with another episode of Dairy Hub Training Programs. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Allah.